don't think they make it to stick. It has to be with the special vehicles. Well, I think it's a bit dumb. Oh, we woolly cod. Stick. <laughs> A woolly cod wonder sticker, James just put none. On the Scottish border, welcome to Scotland. Hello, I'm Jane. Hi, I'm Graham. And together, and together we, we are the Woolly Cod Wanderers. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. Well, we're in Scotland. And to be precise, we're in... Eyemouth. Yes, we travelled up uh, today, so we're going to spend the evening in Eyemouth. Uh, maybe have a look around the, the town tomorrow. Uh, yep, yeah. Well, yeah, sounds good to me. Weather, weather permitting. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you later. Good morning. Well, I'm on this little hill uh, where we've stopped uh, last night, uh, looking down into Eyemouth Harbour. But uh, I just wanted to show you um, this little plaque. And this is reference the 189 fishermen who perished in 1881 and have created a stone. And this is the details about the stone that they've put up. And it says, a simple pebble from the shore symbolises a life that is no more. A simple pebble from the beach, one of many, but each one unique. A simple pebble tossed in a wave, like the lives of the fishermen who once were brave. A simple pebble from the sea, a constant reminder Please let it be. Walking back along the harbour and it's uh, a cracking little fishing port isn't it? It is. And it's so nice, nice to see. Nice and busy. Yeah. It's nice to see a fishing port these days that is busy. Yeah. Reminds me of Whitby in yeah. back in the 70s. Yeah, all the fishing boats coming yeah. in and out all the time. And it used to always be busy with the loads of fishing boats. And that's what you've got here in Eyemouth isn't it? Yeah. We've seen at least four or five different fishing boats going out this morning so anyway. We'll catch up with you later. I'm going to go and feed the seals. There you go. Hello there, can I have uh, three pounds worth of eggs? <laughs> I'm just going to film them there, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. I've got a quick line because I've got a little chicken with you behind you. All right. All right. Oh, is that what happens? Oh, I think. I've got to keep it like this. I'm getting sure of the fish are not doing it. All right. Wow, look. Oh, oh, 
There you go, Jane. Feed her. <laughs> she falls, doesn't she? Which is quite gentle, I suppose, for the sides. She's gentle. She's running a lot of shit for four. Does she? Oh, bless. Try and get her to come up further, darling. Whoa. Whoa. Hang on then. Did they nearly pull it out of your hand? Yeah, they really took. The big fella. Who? Lucy. 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 She's a she. Ah, right. She's a she. <laughs> Billy, the main one, he's somewhere there, but he's tried to come in, him and Donnie had a big fight. Oh, did they? He never came in. Uh, he's tried to come, tried to uh, Donnie now, this one. He's a bit younger than him. Right. And he's taken over for him. Ah, uh, yes. Come on, big boy, big girl. Come on. Hold it up, Jen. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Last bit. Yeah. Oh, she's gone. Come to think she blew her up, I know. Come to think she blew her up. Eh, never. So we lost a weight in Ireland. I think. Mind that boat. That young boy kept his head in the boat in here. It disappeared when he had it. He's no other thing than the field here. Took the run off you. <laughs> oh, is that it then, darling? Thank you, yeah. thank you really so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, did you enjoy that? That was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, everybody. Well, we found somewhere to have a bite to eat. We've gone to the a pub called the Tavern and as you can see it's right on the seafront although the uh, weather's gone a bit funny at the moment but Jane's quite disappointed she's got a sad face I'll let her tell you about it why are you sad darling? because I really crave an all day breakfast and, and we're too late we're too late I'm going to have to have burger and chips. So what are you having? Burger and chips. I thought you were having a cheeseburger. Yes, cheeseburger and chips. And I'm having a, what was mine? A mountain burger. Yes. Something like that. But a bit disappointed, darling, aren't you? Yes. Right, well, we've just had uh, something to eat. So what did you think of it, Jane? Well, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> it, it was food. So we needed some sort of food. So anyway, we'll have a little walk along the high street and uh, see what's about. I want to have a look at these bakers here. It's a proper bakery bakers. 
proper bakery bakers? Yes. All right, okay. Oh, you find anything then? No, it closes at two o'clock. Right. And they've sold out. What time is it now? Um, I can't see because I've got my dogs on the end, don't I? Was it, say? Oh, it's 25 to two. That's why there's nothing left in the shop. All right. Well, we'll have to have a little potter around the ice street and see what yes. we find. Yes. Okay. It's not real though, is it? <laughs> no. Artie Fish Arse. That looks a nice little shop though, darling. Mm. Yeah, I might have a little look. Okay, then I'll let I'll you go. Oh, yeah, your mask. Put your mask on. Well, I'll, while you're doing the shopping, I'll do my shopping, which is look in the window, right? Okay. Okay. I seem to have lost Jane. I know, I'll ask this gentleman. Excuse me, did you see which way Jane went? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was just walking along, right? And and it was like, I got caught. What right? Look! <laughs> the drain pipes having a way. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing on my roof? Oi! Talking to you? What are you doing on my roof? He was nibbling on the fan. He was what? Nibbling on the fan. Yeah, he's lucky he's, he's inspecting the roof. What do you reckon to the paint job? <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> you know we always go on about our loo with the view. Well, how about this from the front window? We're right on the harbour. Well, hello everybody. Well, we're at our park for this evening in King's Barn. I'll put the what three words along the bottom, but it's a, a lovely little track just down off the beach. Well, there you can see, that's me view. Over in that corner, you've got your bins. And along here, got a food shop there. Just look at the moment. And then along here, I think this is um, the bird hut. And I think it's where you can sit and watch for the birds. And over this side, we've got all the disabled toilets and toilet, well, the toilets for everyone there. But uh, walk you back up here and Fanny is parked on what is called Bay 6. Desig well there you go, the sign says it. Designated overnight parking. So I think we've come up trumps with this area. Toilets and everything? Oh, can't go wrong, can you? Anyway, we're gonna get settled down for the night uh, and we'll catch up with you in the morning. Good morning everybody. Well, if you're into football, the place to go is the home of football, which is Wembley Stadium. Well, I've been to, I managed to get to both the old and the new stadiums at Wembley. And if you're into rugby, then Twickenham would be the place that you would class as the home of rugby. In the horse racing, 
possibly entry? Well, I'm at the famous bridge for golfers. This is the famous bridge on the 18th at St Andrews. When you think of all the famous people who've walked over this bridge, and I'm lucky enough to be sat here on a beautiful day, but this is St Andrews. Imagine coming from the clubhouse onto the first tee. Standing there with stands all the way along this side and the crowd cheering on. Graham, Graham. <laughs> That's your first at St Andrews. Well, I'm now on the fairway of the first. So, if you've hit the ball from over there, down there from the clubhouse, you come down to here. And this is the first of which, while you're playing it, I shall pan to that side, all the way along here is the burn. In other words, a water hazard that comes along. And as you come towards the green, this is the first green. And the green goes right up to the edge of the burn. So, how come St Andrew's course is, the old course isn't in use? Yeah, so it's actually tradition, so because the land itself doesn't belong to anybody and it's owned by the town, the land gets handed back to the town on a Sunday, so it's just for the townspeople. So you'll see people like with their dogs and play yeah. football and things. I know, I saw a, a, a lady throwing the ball for a dog and I'm going, hang on, this is St Andrew's! I know! You know <laughs> it is quite funny, but it means you can walk the whole course on a Sunday. All right. So even if you have a wee scout around in that. Thank you very much <laughs> indeed. <laughs> I'm on the fairway of the famous road hole. 
So I shall pan you around and at the back of this hotel, the little wall that runs along, then there's a building. You tee off from where that lady is now, behind that building is your tee shot to hopefully land on this fairway. And then from the fairway, there's the green. Look at the slopes on this green. Come up onto here and there's your green with the road behind it. That is why it's known as the road hole. But just to give you an idea of a bunker at St Andrews. I'll try to give you some idea of the height because obviously I don't want to walk into the bunker. But if you're down at ground level and that stand behind which everyone these gentlemen are building at the moment is full of spectators and your ball's landed in here and you've got to try and get it out. attachment they're not the ball markers are that which says oh, yeah. oh, attachment yeah, yeah, sorry blingy things and ball markers I didn't know the ball markers <laughs> <laughs> I've just did a cracking drive I'm gonna go over the bridge now as I go to the green to win the open <laughs> Not only have you got St Andrew's golf course and there's our fanny part there with the golf course in the background. But as I was saying, you don't just only have the golf course. This area we're on by the way, although you can park here all day free of charge, there is no parking overnight. So you'll see a lot of motorhomes here during the day, uh, but not on the evening. But I'll uh, turn you around so that if you're coming off the golf course, you can walk onto this. Over the little bridge, in between the sand dunes. Not a bad little area, is it? Back uh, over the bridge, you can see, you can see we've got the surf school there. And also at St Andrews, if you're a wheelchair user, they have these available. And here's
is the same. It's free beach, free beach wheelchairs here. Uh, all we ask is for donations. What a cracking idea. Well, we're on our way to our next little stopover and we found this lovely little pub, um, which I'll show you as we leave. Uh, and we thought, oh, we'll have a nice bar meal and a couple of beers. However, they're fully booked for food, so we're just gonna have to have a drink, which does mean one thing, doesn't it, darling? Jane's gonna have to cook. <laughs> Um, we're going to show you a bit around Ruby Bay car park. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes. We've got a lighthouse here. There's supposed to be um, a, like a castle ruin somewhere. We've got the bay where everyone's parking and picnicking. And then there's a second bay just over the back of the car park where they've been all, uh, what is it, kite surfing and things like that during the day. But as you say, this place was absolutely heaving. Uh, earlier on um, so if you were to come here either arrive late because uh, as I say now the car park's clearing uh, I'll arrive very early in the morning but anyway I'll show you around our little mini weekend break in Scotland and it's been absolutely amazing hasn't it yeah these these park ups that we've been told about yeah yeah um one gentleman Owen wasn't it at the... told us about this one but the gentleman over at St Andrews was the one who told you about the first one yeah Kerry uh, Kerry King's King, King's Barns. King's Barns. King's Barns. Yes. Yeah, King's Barns. Uh, and obviously this one, which is Ruby Bay. Yes, but both places, somebody's been kind enough to point us in the right direction, which and is lovely. For what you're getting here, you know what I mean? Free parking, designated bays to park in. You can't whack it. It's been brilliant. Uh, and I, I do apologise if. Um, as I say, I don't know what this video is going to have shown. Um, well, I do know what the video is going to be shown. That's silly. What I mean is, I don't know how much footage I'll have shown you of St. Andrews. But for me to actually go to St. Andrews is uh, being the icing on the cake. And I think your highlight was the seals, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I love the seals. Yeah. So that was well worth it. But anyway, we'll definitely be coming to Scotland again now we've tasted it because... The people, everyone we've, everyone yes, we've come across. Every, every single Scottish person that we have spoken to has been so friendly and so helpful. Oh, yeah. It has. It's, they it's really been amazing. Have. Yeah, it was lovely. Anyway, so that concludes this video. 
I hope you've enjoyed it and stay with us till uh, our next uh, escapade. Is that what you call it? I think so. Or, ne or next time we're out in the van. Yes. Yeah. Next <laughs> we're time off we're, the drive. When we're off the drive. <laughs> so until next time. Oh, where's my aunt? Bye, bye for, for now. now. Okay, we'll go. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Oh, should I do what they all do? Yeah. Bye. <laughs>